probably can't even hear me without that, right? But it was, I guess it was kind of a funny uh, big joke. My bad. So anyways, welcome. I want to evaluate x equals negative 1. Um, for the algebraic expression, this is the same thing I was saying before. 2 times x minus 3 minus 5. And it's really important for us to understand that um, you know, if I wanted to translate this, I don't know why I want to tell you this, but we need to make sure we understand that when we don't have our variable, we didn't know the value of this. So it would be 2 multiplied by the difference of a number minus 3. And then all of that is being subtracted by 5. Well, when I said that, I didn't know the value of x. Now, for this problem, they're saying, I know what the value of x is. The value of x is negative 1. Now evaluate that expression that, or that uh, sentence you just said, or the expression which is written right here. So to do that, all I'm going to do now is plug in the value of, of negative 1 in for x. So all I'm going to do is rewrite everything, but now I'm going to plug in negative 1 in for the x. And then I'll just go ahead and, and evaluate. So now I use the order of operations. So by use, following my order of operations, I need to simplify what's in the parentheses first. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 4 times 2 minus 5. Now, again, by following the order of operations, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 minus 5 which ends up equaling negative 13. And there you go, voila.